there are two very clear, very distinct, strong messages here. So, okay. There's a group of you. Your person this week, how can I explain this? They're thinking of giving you something or they tried to give you something you know how in recent readings, if you've been watching my channel for at least, say, the last four weeks, we've been seeing that your person wants to give you something, they want to bring you something, they want to tell you about something. Your person either recently tried, or this week they are going to be trying, but it's not going to go the way they want. So, let me show you. We've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is coming out of confusion. This is getting clear about something. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is the thing, sorry about the dog outside, this is the thing that they're trying to give you. But immediately, I mean, it's in reverse, and then we get the Tower. So whatever this is, it doesn't go to plan. They feel that it's gone catastrophically wrong. The Tower blows up. Now, this is either something they bring to you and then quickly pull back, or you have no idea that this has even happened. But they're saying, well, that, that was absolutely not how I wanted it to go. Then we come down here, the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse. There is something on the tip of their tongue that they are desperately trying to tell you. And it's about something to do with a commitment, a commitment they want to have with you, a commitment that's ending or is over. Something to do with stability. We have pentacles here, the Ten and the Ace. There's something they want to tell you, it's not something ephemeral, ethereal, it's here, it's grounded, it's I want to be with you, I want a relationship, or I'm leaving a relationship to, you know, you know, should we start a relationship, whatever it is, it's something really tangible, but it's like it, they take one step and it blows up in their face somehow. Now, to be honest, we go from the ace, which is, the, it's reversed, to the tower. So I don't really think anything has happened that's as devastating as they think. It could be they tried to make this offer, whether it's an offer of communication, of time, whatever it is, um, and they're saying, shit, I really messed that up. That's not how I wanted to do it. And then they get annoyed with themselves, they pull back, whatever happens, and they're considering it to be a disaster. It's not, but they think it is. So we get the Five of Cups in reverse because they're wanting to focus this week on this connection. They're saying, I'm not going to look at the Spilt Cups anymore. I'm, I'm getting myself out of this pit of despair, this miserable hole I'm in. Um, but at the same time, the Emperor in reverse, I don't really know how to do this. I don't feel experienced in this situation. Okay. So that's for those of you really that this person's trying to get some kind of message to you, trying to speak this truth that they've been wanting to tell you for a good few months now. There is a situation here where recently or this week, someone's come very close to leaving a situation that's been in the way of your connection, whether it's a karmic situation, um, a way that they're living, um, uh, you know, moving past... Um, overbearing parents, whatever it is, but then they sort of get sucked back in, you know, the Hierophant's upright, and then we have this opportunity between you both still sitting there with the Four of Cups. So, essentially, whichever group you fall into, your person tries to make a big move, a big, bold move this week, um, and they feel that it, it backfires, and it's nothing to do with you. In fact, I feel like this move this gesture, it barely reaches you, it barely gets to you before they pull back, before they say, well, that, you know, that was not how I wanted it to go. It's almost like they're saying, okay, I've spent months building up my courage, waiting for the right time, I'm doing this, I'm going for it. And they try, and they fumble over their words, for example, and they say, oh, I knew that was going to go wrong. They don't try to say it again, you know, they have, they sort of withdraw. Um, at least that's what they're doing for now. I just heard the word humiliation. They might feel, you know, completely humiliated that they made a fool of themselves. And it's not about how you've received them or this effort or this communication. 
it's really um like i said it barely reaches you um this this desire to sort of reconnect with the three of cups but they're being very hard on themselves okay so let's see where your energy is at this week how you're feeling about this about your person about this connection okay so can you bring us the energy of my viewers of my subscribers please Wow, so um, you're seeing very clearly, you're seeing the truth, the third eye, maybe working with Archangel Michael, you're seeing the truth of this situation. Wow, you both get the tower in the same place. Okay, interesting. So you might be saying, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. You know, they have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you have the Devil, you might be saying, this is becoming unhealthy. This, you know, me perhaps waiting for this pentacle from this person, this back and forth. Maybe you've seen this behavior before. They just, you know, they're just about to say something and then they put it back. And you're saying, I don't know, this is not good. Maybe I have to, to you know, get some dynamite and blow this building up. So your person's tower is a tower saying, I've, uh, you know, shit, I really sort of, I was awkward about that. I didn't, that wasn't smooth. That wasn't how I wanted it to go. I'm feeling really embarrassed. Your tower is you saying, can we just move this the hell forward? It's fine. It's not as bad as you think. It, nothing, you know, it, nothing happened. <laughs> Whatever happened hardly happened. It feels, it, you know, it's just, there's some, something, some pattern here, something that feels heavy, um, low vibrational, it's keeping you stuck. And I think you're starting to wonder, should I move this forward? I mean, as, as in like in a really drastic way, you're being very, I'm getting lots of air energy around this. You could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, I have it in your chart, but it's, you're being very rational and saying, come on, let's, let's think about this seriously what what's going on here because it's becoming very low vibrational um but your person has good intentions and i think for them they're trying to be bold but maybe it's not bold enough for you at this point you know they are now at a place you were way back at the start you know when you first took a risk you first told them how you felt that sort of thing Yeah, see, the High Priestess in reverse, you're saying a tiny bit of the truth, a half-truth, or a little bit of communication, or whatever it is, you're saying, look, let's just, let's speak openly, let's speak plainly to one another. Because I'm really, I'm really thinking now about, exactly, this is the thing, see how we have this overlap, this is so interesting, your person saying... I'm trying to communicate, I'm struggling to get this out. I did try, or I will, I will be trying this week, but I think I've messed it up or I'm going to mess it up. And you're saying, no, you haven't. And I would like to continue talking about this until we can get to some sort of understanding, you know, where we both know what's happening. And I appreciate where you are, but the, the fact is we don't really have the luxury of time anymore. We don't have the luxury of, you know, that kind of high school nervous embarrassment. I, I actually just want to know now, you know, can we, I, I'm sorry if it's uncomfortable for you. I'm sorry if we sit down and you feel embarrassed or it's not as, you know, you're not as suave as you would like while well, we're having this conversation, but it's, it's now or it's never because I need to know. And I'm really, I'm about to wrap this up. So you essentially both want the same thing, but, um, I think your energy is in, in uh, sort of different places here. Yeah, you're saying this confusion, I'm done. I'm not, you know, if you're going to, if it's too difficult for you, for example, to bring this clarity to light that I have been waiting for, okay, I'm not gonna force you. I'm just, I'm just stepping away. It's enough, you know? And there's, like I said, there's a detachment here it's more that this is a head over heart decision and it's like your feelings are 
secondary at this point and it, it's you might be thinking I'll deal with my, my feelings later or you might be saying my feelings I'm exhausted my feelings are on board with this decision you know this need for clarity there's, there's a real detachment. You might feel like you're an observer here. You're watching this play out. It's like you're really aligned with your higher self. There's a peace, there's a calmness, and you're watching your 3D self, you're watching your person, and you're saying, hmm, I'm seeing what's happening here. What moves should I make? You know, like playing a game of, of chess, it's it's kind of calculated and cold, but it, it's not scheming. You're You're making the moves that are best for you. But you're not coming across as being overwrought. You're coming across as being very sensible, very sort of rational, very level-headed. Almost like whatever this person does at this point, it's not going to get you riled up emotionally, you know? You're just going to say, that's interesting, let's talk, let's move forward. Or you're going to say, no, this has taken too long. You're still being ridiculous. I'm cutting the cord. So the King of Pentacles, you could be focusing a lot on your um, 3D reality, your root chakra, everything connected to the root chakra, health, finances, work, home, family, stability. You have a lot to offer. Yeah, you have a lot to offer here. Your person's possibly in a situation they're trying to get out of, trying to start something with you, and you're saying, well, you know, when as you're watching this, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. You're saying... It would be nice, sure, to have my queen by my side, but I'm the king, I'm fine, you know. Um, if you want to take this seat next to me, it's here, but if you can't, you know, get yourself over here or get yourself together, I'm going to have to sign out because it's it's becoming detrimental now. This energy is extremely fierce. I would not want to mess with you right now because it's it's that kind of quiet you know like <laughs> you see it in movies a lot you know there's someone who's all mouth and they're shouting and they're sort of throwing punches that's not the person to watch out for it's the quiet person who you know will just get up and stab you <laughs> that's who you are you're this person that's saying mm -hmm, yep okay and then you just make a decision and it's like a devastating blow and you're not going to get het up and stressed in the meantime You've already been there. You've already done all of that. Yeah, see, you're calling it. You're making a decision. Ooh, okay. So this definitely won't resonate for everybody, but if this is resonating with you, I think your person's literally got sort of like... <sighs> days, a week, maybe like a month at most here to get this together before, exactly, before you completely turn away. And I don't even think at this point there's anger, resentment, anything like that. You're, you're just saying, look, it's not going anywhere. So what am I gonna do? Stand here and wait forever for something that's not happening? No, that's called being ridiculous. It's like I had a comment um, on my last video. Someone wrote, oh, I've been watching these tarot readers for a week now. Um, it's utter bullshit, don't you think they should get jobs? And I thought, you're kidding me. Through your own free will, you've invested a week of your time watching something you consider to be nonsense. That's ridiculous. Never mind what you think of this, of what you've decided about reading tarot and people's jobs, whatever, who cares? That's how you've chosen to spend your time, investing a whole week in something that you think is a load of nonsense. Well, Probably you need to look into that. And this is what you're saying. You're saying, well, I've spent enough time waiting. This offer here, this is the, at the key of everything. Are we moving this forward in the 3D? I don't want to know about our 5D connection, our telepathic communication. That's great, fine. I don't want to know about dreams. I don't want to know about fantasies. I want to know, are we doing this or not? If we're not, okay. I respect your decision, I respect where you are, I respect what you're doing, but I also respect me, what I want, what I'm doing, and I guess where we are isn't compatible. So that's what you're saying. Your person this week is saying, I tried to go for it, but it, for some reason it didn't work out. Um, 
and they're feeling pretty devastated about this. So let's just have a quick look and see. So with the tower, how do they recover from this? Where are they going? The Ten of Swords in reverse. So they see it as um, something that's, that's been difficult, really embarrassing, really painful. They still want to make this offer to you and the Ace of Swords, they might try again. And this time, see how it's on your wavelength. It's on, it's, it's in the sort of, it's the way that you need it this time. It's clear, no nonsense. See how this hand, it, it's like a fist and it's got a really tight grip on this sword. It's like your person says, okay, last time was silly. I tried, I wasn't prepared. Now I have that experience. I'm going in, I'm going in in a different way and I'm gonna push through my awkwardness. I'm going to push through my embarrassment. So, yeah, the lovers. So coming, a coming together. So for many of you, this might be a week of some serious communication, some serious movement here. Um, and if it's not, it looks to me that you may um, sign out until or unless you ever see any forward movement um, from your person. Okay, so let's get you a manifesting card. So these are spell cards. You can use them in any which way you like. Take inspiration, do the whole thing, do nothing. Okay, so what's the best message, please, for my viewers, spirit? What's the best message for them this week? Oh, that's too many. Okay, let's try again. Can we just get one card, please? Excellent. Okay, everyday spells. Vision incense. Anytime you want to fill your space with an inspirational aroma, burn this incense for heightened senses. On a Wednesday, use a mortar and pestle to grind and mix the following dried herbs. One part clove, uh, three parts chicory root, three parts, wow, I do not know how you pronounce that, sinker foil? No idea. I'll show you at the end so you can see. Uh, burn the herbs in a fireproof piece of pottery uh, or glass bowl. Hmm. If the new moon, if the new moon falls on this particular Wednesday, so much the better. The incense will be even more powerful. Okay. Please just focus today. No, you're not going to focus. Oh, come on. No, it's not going to focus. Okay, so this, this word I can't pronounce, it's spelled C-I-N-Q-U-E-F-O-I-L. So have a look at that. Maybe you know what it is already. Oh, look, you can kind of see it there. Good. Okay, so um, let's go into the one question, one card reading. Thank you for your message, Lucinda. So let's see, Spirit, is he missing Lucinda enough to come back to her soon? What can you show us, please, about this? The person she's thinking of, is he missing her enough to come back soon? Okay, is he missing her enough to come back soon? Spirit's asking me what's, what's soon. So um, I'll just say the next month. So I hope that's okay. So in 3D time, the next month, is he missing Lucinda enough to come back over the next, or well, within the next month? Ooh, okay. So it seems like he's getting over some sort of an ending here. Um, I would say... It doesn't look like he's coming back within the next month um, and he actually probably needs to 
whatever whatever has happened here, he needs to get over it. He needs to accept it, to integrate the experience, to heal from it, to release it, to take the wisdom with him, but to drop the pain, you know, to get ready to look at the new horizon, the new beginning here. Right now, he's still very much in the ending. He's still focusing on the ending. So I would say probably not soon, uh, not within the next month at least. Um, but you know, once once he starts to move forward to look for the new beginning that follows the ending, that's when I think you'll have movement. But right now I would say he's probably not coming back um, what you might term as soon. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope this helped. I'll be back on Wednesday and we'll get some messages to you from your person. So what do they want to say to you? Um, is there a truth they're holding back? Is there anything additional they would like to say? Um, is there something you suspect, something that you feel um, that you think they're not saying that might come through as well? So I will see you then. Have a lovely Monday and Tuesday or whatever day you're watching this um, and take care. Bye.